In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix FIFA 23 DirectX error. So as you can see at the moment on my screen, I have received a DirectX error and it's basically saying that the video card has either been removed from the system or there's a driver upgrade available. So there are a couple of reasons why you would be getting this error. But before we get started, I'd like to just say if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like this video and it helps you out, then help us out by subscribing to us and helping us reach 60,000 subscribers. So the first thing that you need to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. And we can check this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go to settings. You then need to click on update and security. And you now need to click on the check for updates button and Windows will now check for any new updates. As you can see, it has detected a new update for Microsoft Defender. So that's not gonna make any difference. But if yours did detect new updates, allow them to download and install. And if you do have an optional quality update available, then download and install this as well. So once you've finished updating Windows, the next thing that you need to do is click on the first link in the description below to DirectX. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select your language and then press download. You then need to run this setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. So if you do agree, press I accept and then go next. If you want to install the bean bar, then keep this ticked. I don't want to, and then press next. And it will now install the latest DirectX to your computer. And as you can see, it's already detected that I do have the latest version, which is great. But if yours did detect new files, then that's a good thing. That will be probably the reason why you're getting that DirectX error. However, you will still want to do the next thing, and that's to ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you don't know what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out within Device Manager. And to do this, all we need to do is right click on the Start menu icon and then go to Device Manager. You then need to expand Display Adapters. So as you can see, I have two graphics card options. I have an AMD Radeon Graphics and also an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So I will show you how to update both an NVIDIA graphics card and an AMD graphics card. The first graphics card I will show you how to do is an NVIDIA. I will pop a link in the description below so you can skip to the AMD part if you have an AMD graphics card. So now we know what graphics card we have, we need to go to the NVIDIA website by clicking on the NVIDIA link in the description below. Once you're on the website, you now need to select your product type. So I had a GeForce and you then need to select your product series. So I've got a 16 series because I've got a 1660 Super and it's the very first number 16, which indicates 16 series. And as you can see, it's already selected the 1660 Super for me, which is the graphics card I got. You now need to select your operating system. So I've got Windows 10 64 bit, and you then need to select the game ready driver and then your language and then press search. Next, you need to click on the download button and then you need to press download again. Once the file's finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to press OK. We can now choose if we want to just install the graphics driver or if we want to install GeForce Experience as well. So I don't mind installing GeForce Experience alongside the driver, so I'm happy with that. Once you're happy with the options you selected, go ahead and press agree and continue if you do agree to the terms. So we now have two different options, Express or Custom. So seeing as you're having an issue with that DirectX error message, I would recommend that you go on to Custom and then press next, and then perform a clean install of the driver. So this will remove any NVIDIA settings that you have set in the past, and also clear any profiles you've created. So if you're happy with this, then go ahead and press next. The reason I suggest doing a clean installation is because if you have changed the setting, then it could also be causing that error message. So once you've done that, go ahead and press next, and it will now begin to install the latest NVIDIA driver. And there we go, as you can see, the driver's now been installed. You can choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut for GeForce Experience if you did install it and you don't want to launch it yet. So press close and now launch FIFA 23 and that should have fixed that DirectX error. Okay, so to update your AMD graphics card, as you can see there, it doesn't actually say what graphics card I have. And that's because this is actually my processor that's got the AMD graphics built in. So I will show you how to update your processor graphics and also how to update just an AMD graphics card. So you should have some numbers there if you do have an AMD graphics card. If you're using the processor, then you will need to open up the start menu 
and type in system information. You then need to open system information. Once system information is open, you now need to find processor. And as you can see, I've got an AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. That's the graphics card driver I need to find. So we now need to go to the AMD website by clicking on the link that's in the description below. You will now see a huge list of different options. So you're going to want to select graphics and you then need to find your graphics card in the list. So let's say I've got an AMD Radeon 5700 series. I would need to select this and then select the graphics card there and then select which version I've got. Once I've selected the version, I can then press submit. But seeing as I'm using the processor with graphics, I need to select processors with graphics. I then need to select AMD Ryzen processors. And then I've got the 5000, so I need to select the AMD Ryzen 5 5000G series. And then you can see my processor here, 5600. I then need to press submit. So once you've selected your graphics card, press submit. You will now have two different options, Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'm using Windows 10, which means I need to expand Windows 10, and you then need to download the newest driver, so the very first driver on the list. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and run this setup file. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. You need to press install. You will now have a window that looks like this. We need to expand additional options and then tick factory reset. This is basically just going to do a fresh install of the driver and it will also wipe your previous user settings. So you will need to redo them again. The reason I say to select this is because you might have changed the setting within the AMD software that's causing the game to get that DirectX error. So once you've done that and you're happy with the terms, go ahead and press install and it will now begin to install the latest AMD driver to your computer. Once the install has finished, go ahead and restart your computer and then launch FIFA 23. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. There is a link in the description below to a guide that we had done on this error that I will add more methods to if I come across any. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.